Let's say started. This coffee maker is a little loud. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, I dropped the kids off. It's happy Monday. <laughs> dropped the kids off already at school and everything. Came back. I didn't film nothing this morning. I just got them to school. Call it a day. Just let the dogs out. That's our new news. Is that we, if you've been on Instagram, you can see we have a new dog. But, um, we recently got another dog. It was one of our neighbor's dog, and she just couldn't handle her anymore. But my husband said, oh, get our dog a friend. <laughs> yeah. So it's been fun with two dogs instead of one. Um, so I just let them out, fed them. It's going to be our my new routine of just, like, getting up. Because usually I let my other dog out, and I let her out for just a second, then come back and let her in. But... With the new one, I have to let it go out there. We used to do it with the leash. Now we're not trying with the leash, but we at least need to be out there. Anyway. So. The coffee maker lay on my bed. So, that's what I just did. I am about to make me a cup of coffee and want me something to eat up. And then, I'm going to get myself dressed. Because I got a sweats and a hoodie on, which is not a bad a combo. I mean, I could wear the sweats the rest of the day and just buy a shirt to wear, but with both, it just, I look like a slob. And we love looking like a slob when we do drop off. But the rest of the day, we gotta get our crap together. <laughs> so, but, um, I need to go grab coffee, because I have none. <laughs> You're probably saying, what's all this? This is hot chocolate that, oh, I do have a donut one left. This one is the Cafe Caramel Cafe Latte, Chai Latte. I don't really know if I like the Chai Latte. I just accidentally bought it and I have it here. So, But this is don't have no caffeine in it. So if I'm like picking a day, I just want a good, cozy, hot coffee. That's what I usually drink. But I do not want that today. I want some caffeine. And then I have a few left from... Um... When I did that alum calendar, I think I got one, two, three, three of them. And then I got, also got the reusable coffee makers. Because if I run out of coffee cups, I do have coffee in here. And I also have the little cups that you can go in there and throw them away. Put in these. So I always keep those on hand. Just in case I'm really tight on money and I can't afford these. Because you know what? These days are expensive. Even if I get the great value. So I need to fill this back up today. Um, also today's vlog is going to be me working both my jobs today. It's going to be a fun day. Um, we'll try to get some stuff done around here because I have so much laundry to put up. I never put up my laundry from Wednesday and and just, I had a baby shower yesterday to go. I had made a reel, not a reel, a TikTok about my day in life on Sunday. And it was just, it, where she had it was an hour and a half away. So most of my Sunday was me on the road, celebrating her baby shower, and back on the road. So I really didn't have time to do a nap. Get everything done like I like to get done on Sundays, but it's okay. We gonna get it done. So it's gonna be a very productive. We're gonna try to make it a productive Monday. Not only that, like if you've seen my videos and also you've been on my Instagram, you know I took a mental break from all my socials. And some of them you can see I had to let them come in there. Um, I just needed that break. I felt exhausted, and I feel a little bit better today. I think what it is, I didn't have it took, picked up the camera since. Wednesday, today's Monday. I haven't picked up the camera since Wednesday. I have a video I need to edit, but it can wait. Um, <coughs> and before that, it was the Wednesday before that. I haven't picked up the camera. Um, my house is a flipping mess. Um, there's so many things I want to get done around here and film for you guys for us to get ready for the Thanksgiving holiday. Yes, I know Halloween's got to come first, but I'm already getting my mind mentally there, but I'm already 
there with Halloween. Like we got our costumes, we got stuff coming up. That yeah. So it's gonna be fun. But I really wanted to take you on a day of life because you don't see you see some. I ain't any. But I'm gonna take you along with me today. Because a lot of YouTubers are not too real about their stuff. Like they are set for life in a way. Not set for life life. But in a way that they are financially good. I'm not struggling. They might be struggling here and there. I'm not going to try to say I don't know them. I know everybody's struggling. That's the thing. We all struggle. We're, st we, we're doing what we need to do. We are in a hustle mode. We're in the survival mode. Now we are the thriving mode. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Um, But I really want to be, I want to put this on here because I want to be real. I have to literally work two different jobs. I know one of them just does once every two weeks. But I have to do it. Because this week I really need, I will say, I need the money. Um, so, I want to show you something real today. Of, I do YouTube on the side, but doesn't pay me. Because I don't have the criteria for what they need. Um, TikTok does not pay me. Because I also don't have the criteria, also. Um. So I have to work two different jobs on top of doing this, which is clean a church and do my full time job. So that's, I, I want to say unfortunately, let me see the couch. I want to say unfortunately, I have to work two jobs today. I can wait till Thursday, but I also need money. <laughs> I can't wait till Thursday. Um, but now that, um, I really like to have my Thursday at home and I have to be like, I need to go do this and stuff like that. Um, I already have it done so I could just have a good, if I need to get editing done, I pick that day to do it and, and just enjoy being home and I have to be like, oh, I gotta go somewhere. I just felt a bit, I mean, I gotta go somewhere that later that day because we have something to do Halloween wise. But on that, that's it. Alright. So I'm going to stop talking and stop saying like I, my grandpa used to say, poor Mavin. So. <laughs> so I'm stop poor Mavin, but I am very blessed of what I have and how able I get to keep it. You know what I mean? So I'm always going to look at it that way. But it's just, it's a lot. You know? That's why I think I felt like I was mentally and physically exhausted because I'm doing this and I'm doing everything else and I'm doing practices and activities and also trying to do stuff with my kids and stuff like that so it's like it was a lot so can I help you <laughs> <laughs> that's her brother Doug she's very hyper she's very there we don't get no small dogs we get big dogs so um but I'm gonna make my cup of coffee and then we're gonna get started. I'll come on my We have a lot to do on my to-do list today and just take off this trash over here. I'm glad you ain't seen it. But take this trash over here off. Also I need to empty all the small trash cans in the house before I do that. Um and I would love to fold all my kids' laundry before I go to work. And I get to my laundry when I get back home. That's my goal. <laughs> so. But I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. So. I'm going to warm up this sandwich I made the other day. I do that. I make like two bagels. And I just. I get that one half and I can't eat it. But it's fine. Because you know what? We're going to warm it up. Let me get a quick break. That is the goal. But my goal is at least get where I'm going um, by 9 or a little bit after 9. So if they didn't do nothing crazy at the church the last two weeks, 
it should only take me a good hour and a half to two hours, which will give me to 11, 11.30, which is cool me because then it gives me a few hours to get other things done before I have to go to my other work. Also, it gives me time to eat lunch. I'm too broke to go pick something up. Actually, I won't be broke soon. But, I'm going to get you some food. Yes, you see this little hunky bunky thing right here? She got hunky bunky. They got nicknames, Furball and Shorty. <laughs> You can imagine what this one is. Furball. But they ain't real. They ain't their real names. <laughs> they got their own real names, but this one's in training. Other ones getting used to having a friend around. She needs one. So, but yeah, let me get off of this because I've already talked 11 minutes. <laughs> the good days, here's to the sorrows, if this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow, I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no, just wanna make it stop, maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road, right now it doesn't even matter, it's too late to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best And say goodbye You start to get dressed And then we cry Cause we both know It's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best of sick to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does So baby, bye It's for the best and you know why You gotta leave me here tonight Before we make this even worse It's gonna hurt even more Back in the car, I'm technically back at the church. <laughs> See what happened was I already left the church. I've been gone what? I think I got done my hair about 10:45 something like that. So I've been gone for 30 minutes. My camera's been in the church the whole time, but I didn't go all the way home, so I was technically close to the church. Um, went to my mom's and cut my stepfather's hair. I don't usually talk about family because one, they didn't choose me. They didn't choose to be on the internet. Um, same with my kids. That's why I don't show them as much. But you know they go somehow get in the clips. But I will say, when I film, I'm not focusing on my kids. It's more about me. I chose this, so I gotta focus on me. Um, same way with them. I don't like a lot of people say family vloggers. I'm not a family vlogger. 
I don't film family of functions like their soccer games to their little activities. I might film like behind their head or something. You can't see their face kind of thing. Or I might post like that. <laughs> um, and all that like that. Um. Because I really, truly want my kids to have a normal life. I don't want to be like, put a camera in their face. That's kind of why I pick, like, every once in a while to film their room. And everything. Because I'm I'm really get trying to give them the privacy they need. So, yeah, so, but, um, so I don't usually talk about my family on here because I know a lot of YouTubers who talk about their family and a lot of people know everything about their family and I really, truly, I like to keep that private. That's a private life. Like I never, I hardly ever film like I think I have like one small clip of filming at my parents house on that I hardly ever film at my mom's house I hardly ever film at like we'll go on I, I think I had like beginning vlogs like there was a f like me two or three if that of me filming like family things like my mom's in the video and stuff like that but on that I have stopped that and I'm like it's more of a, I post her on my Instagram every once in a while, like on a birthday and stuff, but I usually don't post my family because I have this philosophy. I know I'm nothing like a celebrity. Hey, no, girl, no. I don't have that fame. I don't have that, oh, no, no, no. But I understand that philosophy in the way of, you also have your public life and you also have your private life and my family that is my private life I chose to keep that private compared to showing me clean showing you what's going on with me showing because you never know what somebody might be going through the same thing I'm going through like you gotta hustle a little harder because life's harder right now or um mentally because I'm a I got mental problems, <laughs> but I really do. I truly do. I don't really need to laugh at that, but I really do. And some days I have good days, some days I have bad days. So I try to show that because somebody might be going through that. But also, I love filming. I always wanted to go to California and actually work behind the camera if I ever did something like that. So that's probably why I like doing YouTube because I, I learn stuff and I, I don't mind filming, you know. So, that's why I put my public life on here. And I know this is sidetrack as can be, but, yeah. So, explain a little bit of why I don't show my family show, and talk about my family. But, anybody, any kind of religion you are, or anything, please pray for my stepfather. Um, he got some bad news over the weekend. No, well, over last week. But they know about him. I just found out so he I feel like this would be the like the worst cancer you can get but I don't know comment below if that's the worst cancer you can get is bone cancer or is there a, a even worse one I think I feel like brain cancer is pretty bad but he was diagnosed with lung cancer about Two, three years ago and then he won that when he was in remission for a year to six months or something like that I can't get the timeline because heck I can remember what I did yesterday um and then they come back tell him after his remission that he's got st stage three or four lung cancer 
and he's been fighting that for the past year. I just feel like he can't really win this one. And then they find out when he did, um, he had a back surgery the other day to fix something that radiation messed up. And come to find out, they found out that he has bone cancer. I'm looking confused because I'm like, I'm trying to get the timeline right, but I think that's how it, the timeline went. I'm, I'm like, okay, I can't keep up with everything. So, any kind of religion you are and everything, please pray for us as a family, but also his health. Um, he is very, very, very close to my oldest and everything. They got a special bond. And please don't take it out of contents either. Because I know a lot of people are like, I know, not like that, not like that. Um, but it's going to be devastating for my kids. You know, because that's technically their only grandpa they ever see d daily. They don't see their grandfather on their dad's side as much. They see him, but not as much as him. Not only that my dad lives five hours away and he hardly ever sees the kids so it will be more devastating to lose him than the other two so that's a, that's the way i look at it um but yeah any kind of religion you are please pray or whatever you do um but i am about to chuck some of this soon <laughs> um and put the key in the car and head to Walmart. I don't think we where I'm going. Walmart. I have to fill up the tank because the material I'm empty almost. Driving how long I drove yesterday sucked. Because I was at a little bit over a half a tank. So what I drove yesterday sucked the crap out of my gas. So, but I love her. I love her, boo. I did it for you. I had a baby shower yesterday, so I did it for her. But girl, I sucked the crap out of my gas tank. So, but we're gonna go to Walmart, and then once I go do that, I'm gonna come home. I'll probably eat this. My mama gave me some soup. She gave vegetable soup for my husband, but I don't have vegetable soup. But she gave me a potato soup, and I'm down for that. So I'm gonna go pick up a few things at Walmart. I need to get a leash for the new dog. We did a homemade one last time we took it over because we can't we have another leash we just don't have absolutely no where it is no idea where it is so i need to get a leash for her and then get a small bag of dog food then i need to get two small pumpkins to bring to church on sunday for trunk or treat it's a lot going on there's a lot going on i'm doing a lot of talking but it's a lot going on like today it's busy getting this done i'm busy going to work after uh, after i eat lunch and then once I do that, I'm going to have all my errands and stuff done. And then the next two days, I'm going to be working 10 hours. So there ain't no possible way to do anything else around the house or anything else. So that's why I'm trying my best to be productive today. Plus, Thursday, we have something uptown in our town for Halloween. So we got that planned, but I'm planning on like just relaxing Thursday while the kids are at school and everything. And I'll probably edit. If I don't edit, I'll probably edit some night I get off work. But I'm going to try to edit that morning and relax the rest of the day until I pick them up. And we're going to do that Halloween thing uptown. And then Friday, I go in later, just like I did. The, I'm doing the day. So I can relax that Monday, that Friday morning and can gear up for the weekend ahead because I work in the morning. But I get off early on Saturdays. And then Sunday, we have trunk or treat. And also, I have something at my kids' school that I volunteer for. <sighs> and then, before you know, it's Halloween. So, yeah. It's a lot going on. I don't know what I'm filming this week. I don't know what I'm getting done this week. So, we're going with the flow. So. That is what we're doing. But, I am about to head... I'm gonna move this thing again. It's gonna probably fall. We are going to head to Walmart. That's where we're going. So, 
Let's go to Walmart. <laughs> Best feed. Mm. <laughs> so I went home. I didn't go to Walmart. I went home and um ate my lunch, just chilled for a second, and then I went to Walmart and now I'm at my second job. Actually, it's technically my first job, the other one was my second job, but which is my other job now. So I usually don't take you in anyway, so it's gonna do that. I was gonna talk a little bit. So I'm gonna go in, work my shift, and then I'll see you after my shift. <laughs> Alrighty, I ain't gonna call this vlog. I was gonna clean a little bit. It's bed. Time for bed. Go brush your teeth, wash your face. Yeah. We're gonna pick us now. We don't know. I don't know yet. Go. Somebody's gonna pick you up from school. It's gonna be Grandma or Daddy. Yep. I don't know yet. So, I'm gonna come home and like do a few things, but I sat down for just like two seconds and then it just like hit me. I'm tired. I was good a minute ago. But I'm going to end this vlog. Um, I'm going to bed. Hope you enjoyed this vlog of me working both jobs today. This is literally hey, how it goes. It might not feel much after I got off work, but it's usually how it goes. I just kind of take a breather. So, but hope you enjoyed this vlog. It don't have them. I actually, I don't even think it's got any cleaning in it besides cleaning the church. first <laughs> so but i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did give me a thumbs up that last video the day in life that just had not the one before this one but the one before that one that one was one i really wanted to scrap and just didn't want to even post but i'm glad i did because i see a lot of people are enjoying that one and i'm like okay <laughs> so i am gonna put the girls to bed and then I'm going to bed and just take a breather because the next two days is 10 hour days so. but I hope you enjoy this vlog though that's a mess <laughs> so bye guys <laughs>